um, deserve to go ahead. You know, you come into a place where the, the home form is very good, so we knew what to expect. And I thought we were growing comfortably in the game. Um, obviously, it turns on a on a penalty. I've not seen the incidents yet, so um, you know I won't comment on them. But uh, I thought the application, the, the work ethic, and the endeavour was all there to see. Uh, and I think we deserve something out of the game. It was an eventful game, wasn't it? Difficult to know, to know where to start, really. But you looked in, in, looked in control and comfortable the first 20 minutes. I thought in possession, you know, we had really good patterns. Out possession, we were very comfortable. Um, you know, in certain lanes, they do try and rotate and pull you, you know, pull you out of your shape. But uh, the lads were very disciplined. You know, only been here a couple of days, but the work that we put in, it showed on the pitch. Um, and I thought we grew into it. And like you said, even with 10 men, um, you know, I thought we deserved something. We worked hard enough to get back in the game. Uh, and we deserved a positive result today. You mentioned the 10 men, the second yellow card for Daniel Ayala. It, it, it is a silly one, isn't it? But it's the second time it's happened from an experienced player in the space of a week. Yeah, listen, experienced players are still learning, aren't they? Um, like you say, I think the decision, he, he either, you know, he, he kind of got caught under the ball and you know he's, he's kind of lost balance, etc. But like you said, you know, an experienced player, you'd expect a better decision. So you know, we'll certainly look at that. We'll you know, obviously speak to Daniel moving forward um, and we'll go from there. You mentioned the home form of Plymouth and, and their fans really do back them here at home Park. Do you think the, the referee was swayed perhaps by, by them? Um, listen, referees have got a million decisions to make, moving parts. You know, they haven't got the pleasure of standing still in, you know, on the touchline or in the stand watching these decisions either. So you know, you've got to be respectful and, um, and whatever decisions you, know, you make, you work hard. And fingers crossed if you work hard enough, they'll fall your, your side of the, of the fence. Uh, today they didn't, but uh, you know, we'll certainly take a lot of... Um, you know, pleasure from the work ethic, the application. We've got a number of games left where you know the lads need to stick together. You know, again, we, you know, we need to, to be mindful of the challenge, uh, be mindful of, of where we are as a group, and make sure we grow, grow together. It's true, isn't it, that when you're down there, things go against you. Uh, listen, like I said, I'm, I'm here a number of days, and I'm learning a lot about the group, and I'll learn quickly about them, and le they'll learn quickly about myself and, and the staff. So, uh, I think it's important that you know you certainly put your stamp on things and. Try and evolve the group, um, you know, your training ground, your workplace, stadium, and move forward from there. And that's what we're trying to do. It's hardly been a, an easy week though for your baptism of fire, really, coming in on Tuesday and then an, uh, not an ideal game to start away at Plymouth. The preparation is a little bit difficult, isn't it? But you must be pleased with, with the application of, of the lads. Are you pleased with what, what you've seen? Because they didn't give up, did they? No, no, and that's the minimum requirement. You know, when you're a professional footballer, you've got a duty of care to yourself, to your teammates, to the club, to the fans. To make sure you know the keys in the word isn't it professional that you look after yourself you eat right sleep right train right um and like you say from tuesday evening you're on a coach down to plymouth uh, before you know it you'll be you know into you know into leicester leeds and etc so you know you need to give a good account of yourselves and to do that got to be a, you know a really good strong professional group and you know you see they've got good qualities um you know we just need to build on that uh, two up top today hugo and, and non bay and in a bit of a change of shape are we likely to see to see more of that three five two again we've got a where we are at the minute, we've got a lot of injuries. Um, we have to make the best of our attributes, and you know, I feel today with the best of our attributes were, like you say, to build to build in a three, three four three, and and obviously out of possession to try and fill the lanes and be strong in in each rotating part. So, um, you know, that's what we tried to do, and think you know, I felt in large parts we we're very comfortable, um, and the lads stuck to the task well. And you were brave going talk as well with putting Kelly on as well as, as Tommy who, who got his goal. Oh, you went for it. Someone I need to try and win games. Need to you know pack a punch. We need to have goals on the pitch, um, and to do that, you know you've got to have people in the right places. And uh, you know, like you say, I think we probably shaded it with chances, you know, good chances created. Uh, we deserved something out of the game, and, and that's where I leave it. You've added to your coaching staff in bringing Rob Kelly in. What's he going to bring to the club? Yeah, I mean, his experience and his CV speaks for itself. Um, you know, he's been to a, you know, many clubs, at home and abroad. I've uh, known him for a very long time, so it's a, you know, there's a big trust there. Um, and he's, you know, he's excellent with the players. You know, he's excellent, you know, as a coach, as a person, uh, and you know, a great addition for the football. And lastly, just mm. just a small matter of a trip to Leicester next week. But are you grateful for a for a free week heading into it? Yeah, of course you are. Three weeks in the Championship are hard to come by, aren't they? And uh, you know, the lads, like I say, with three games, with the number of players that we've got, you know, we've asked players to go again today, which uh, you know, ideally. You know, we wouldn't, but uh, that's where we're at. You know, young Jamie Lindsay's come back from injury and he's had to put a big shift in. Hacks has played a number of positions and uh, you could see people flagging at the end there. But, uh, you know, they certainly won't be wanting for effort and endeavour. Just lastly.